All right, this is a tutorial that needs to be made, so I'm gonna make it. You wanna know how to duplicate weapons, vehicles, or other things and create a completely separate object that has no relation to the original, for the most part, and rename it something and make it show up in the Forge menu and make it pick up as that. But here's what you gotta do. This list over here, this is a list of things you need. Minus the shards, because most things don't have those. You got your assault rifle, because this is what I'm doing. All right, got your arm mesh. A projectile, a model, a your imposter model, and your... I don't actually know what that is, but it's a thing. And I've already copied these, so I know that some of you are going to be doing vehicles. and see what you can do with that. So the way you duplicate them is you click on them, you click duplicate, and then you'll get this pop-up and you want to go through and replace it the original title with something that you can remember something that you can remember all right something that you can bloody remember and then we're going to go into strings english um and this is where you create the name for your thing so i'm gonna go to ui hud i already have them copied over here so i'm gonna go down 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 far as i can go and you can see I already have them put in here as well. In order to add new, you would just type in add new, blah, 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 blah. Um, so after you put these into the HUD messages, you can get these from any of the other ones over here. You're going to go into, where are you? Uh, forge strings, because you have to do this in order for it to show up in the forge menu. You're going to do this. Put your gun in there as well. Again, same thing, add new, hip, gun, blah, 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 blah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. After that, you're gonna click save all and save your strings, all right? You keeping up with me? God, I hope you are. Cause then you're gonna go to tags, search the name of your map, whatever that may be. Go to S C N R for scenario. Open that shizzle whizzle up. Search sandbox. Find your sandbox palette. Decide whatever you're going in. You can use this up here to swap between what it is that you're copying. Weapons, 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 blah, 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 blah. Bullshizm. I'm making a human weapon. So I'm going to go and click the plus. I'm going to add a tag block. I guess that's what that means. Click reallocate. So this is my new tag block. There's nothing in it right now. I'm gonna type in pip gun because that's the, the that's the tag that I used in the board strings. Remember that. That's the one you have to use for this section. And then you're gonna click plus again, add one, reallocate. Open that box up, go here, click on the drop down, select weapon. Uh, find your weapon in here somewhere like right there who knew go PIP GUN Save but you're not done yet. You want to separate this from the other files of course So you're gonna come down here, and you're going to do this uh, bull poo poo and You're essentially going to do this for everything here that you have a replacement for so you want to make sure that you check all of these for things that you can replace. Like the imposter, nothing there, right? HLMT, you're going to replace the model with the model of your gun. The collision model with whatever it is that you're doing. I have another collision model that I made for the pip. Uh, and your imposter model, of course, with your pip 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 You're going to go to... Your where are you? Our mesh. This is all that good stuff. I believe this is also in HMLT. I don't know where this is actually. Uh, I know weapon is over here. Models. Blah 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 blah. Roll down until you get to this section, which is your pickup messages, swap messages, etc., etc. Um. I believe there's one other segment where you want to do it as well. Ah, here, here, here. This is where you want to do that. So you want to make sure that your first person model 
is changed so that whenever you change it and make it look different, it shows up properly. Uh, because that's extremely important if you want to change or modify the look of the weapon in any fucking way possible. You're going to come to your projectile because you know you're going to mess with your projectiles, of course. And you're going to change that as well. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else specifically. Uh, pretty sure one of these had a name box at the top of it, though. Get out of here, you. Or was it? This one. You're going to change this to your name right there. And... Other than that, there's one more thing that I almost forgot here. You're going to want to get the JPT, which is the damage that the bullet does. You're going to want to duplicate that as well. Because you may want to completely separate this 100%, not just visually. And if you want to do that, then you're going to do that here. IP continue I'm gonna have to close pretty much most of these but I believe what we're looking for is in projectiles and we want to find the JPLT here it is drop down select your bullet you have to close the tab every time you add something um, into the lefternmost tags window and that should be pretty much it. Let's just... Let, let's just jump right into it. Obviously, first I'm going to save all of these. Because that is important. Make sure that you do save all of this after you activate it. So that your gun is adequately visible. And properly categorized. Of course, we're going to save Beaver Creek. Cannot over overlook that. Save all. And I don't care about you. So, if we do that, and we jump into a, a Forge game, we should see that our weapon is, in fact, Iggy in the game, and that's basically all there is to it. It's not super complex. Um, there's more that you can do, like changing the way your gun looks and stuff like that. But that's not what I was here to teach. Here to teach this. Boom, boom, pretty in pink. Uh, if you want to see an example of a gun that I have actually messed with significantly, we can go into Covenant. It's called some of the Cracker Jack. Pick that baby up. And this is the Cracker Jack. It is a charge to fire needle gun that is basically the pistol shotgun from I think it was Halo 4 where you held it down and if you were hella close dudes would just die so you can see that it spreads out the further it goes so you can do all kinds of stuff like that and completely separate it uh, because check this out Needler is a completely different weapon these are two completely different guns and Basically, yeah, that's it. So, you guys have a good day. Have fun using this knowledge for whatever it is that you're going to use it for. Just make stuff. Halo Reach modding is new on PC. We got to bring it to life. Damn. <laughs> Farewell.